Welcome back to Landing Zone Home. Today we're going to do a little solar maintenance. The display on my TriStar MPPT solar charger is starting to go out. So I'll be replacing this display which is model number TS-M-2 and take you through those steps. So stick around. On the uh, TriStar display here some of the LED is not uh, filling in, it's not populating fully. I don't know if you can see this with the contrast from the glare, but in this case here the W is not full. And here on the right hand string of those bars they're dimmed out some. And uh, you know every screen is just a little bit different. But I just noticed this uh, this past week and uh, although you know I can uh, make it out right there you can see that the uh, W and part of the H is not lit up my concern is as time goes by it's probably going to get uh, more and more difficult to read this so I contacted Morningstar who's a manufacturer of these TriStar products. This is my TriStar solar charger here. And they uh, just wanted to verify what was happening. I sent them some photos, some screenshots of what's going on there on the display. And I also provided the serial number, which is on the back side of this uh, monitor here, which is the TS dash M dash two. As soon as I did that, they uh, came back and says, all right, we'll be sending you a replacement out just and a uh, shipping label where you can return the old one. So here I am, I'm going to swap this out. Whenever I'm into the solar controller for any uh, maintenance, I always like to turn off my solar array first. So I'm gonna trip the breakers which uh, is going to uh, stop the uh, current coming in from the solar array. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this front cover off. This cover is held in place by these four little screws and you have to be careful uh, not to drop them. I've dropped them before and they've fallen back behind my battery box and it the battery box out to go and retrieve that one screw. So with uh, those four screws out, we pull the panel out and all that's holding it is this connector right here. I'm going to disconnect that. I think that's an RJ45 connector. <clears throat> and you see on the back of the unit are these two plugs here. Uh, one is go to the meter and one is go to the uh, uh, TriStar. So in the box that uh, Morningstar sent is uh, some documentation, a whole other user's manual there, packaging. They've sent a new connector which I'm not going to use that. I'll keep that as a spare. And then the TSM2 module. Oops. With some information here on how to register your product. So there's the new unit. And to replace it, you just put the connector in, replace the four screws. But a word of caution, there's a little uh button peg sticking out here which is going to go into this hole and you want to be careful to get that aligned properly. All right the controller monitor now is reinstalled. The display looks nice. It's recognizing it as night because the solar array has been isolated. I'm going to flip the breakers to bring the solar array back online. And it's gone back into MPPT status. And we're drawing 198 watts off of the array.
So I'll watch this uh, to make sure this new part uh, is going to work well. I have no reason to believe that it won't be perfect. And I just wanted to give a shout out to TriStar for their good customer service. And uh, thank everyone for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.